Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. You're watching Old Car Auto Guy, and we are coming to you from Harrisburg, PA. Just got off of the uh, old text the doodle thingy there with old Send It Steve, and he is on his way here to my location to pick us up. Why? Because he's going to go look for a frame for his old 53 Ford, I think it is. So we're going to sit here, Kip and I, with Grandma, waiting for old Send It Steve to show up. And there he is, folks, in the big 450. How you doing, bud? Hey, how you doing? That thing doesn't look like it's from around here. No, it's not. No? No. It comes from Canada, eh? From Canada? Yeah, man. <laughs> how are you, bud? Long trip? It was a long trip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had your shirt on in my last video. I've seen that. Yeah. You, you wore it a couple times. How are you? Nice this you, is Kip. my buddy, Kip. Nice to meet you. He's got a channel, America Bumper to Bumper. Oh, cool. America Bumper to Bumper. Check him out. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I love this yeah. channel. Yeah. Definitely. And obviously, check out Jason, old car auto guy. Yeah. And we don't all talk like Canadians, eh? Like, we're just regular guys. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. So this is Grandma. This is Grandma. Wow. This is my... It's a lot cleaner than I thought it actually was. Well, it, it's it's super clean. It's actually dirty. We ran into some rain on the way here today. Yeah. But uh, it is a very clean car from being up north. like. We get a lot of rust. Yeah. And uh, I drove by this thing several times before I finally stopped and said, you know what? It's in really good shape. I got to have it. Definitely. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Glad it made it. Glad oh, it made it. not a hitch, 25 miles a gallon. Wow. Guys, if you just crawled out from under a rock, this is Send It Steve. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so, guys, we are in the old uh, 450 here, and we are going to look at a frame for Steve's, one of Steve's projects, his 53 Ford project. So um, he's asked us to tag along. Very thankful for that. We got Kip in the back seat and- uh, And no safety, Steve. And no no safety, no, no seat belt, Steve. <laughs> Come on, man. I, I'm weird about it. We're on this back road that the truck technically doesn't fit on. Does not, no, not at all. <laughs> but when you're driving a 450, guess what? You can take it anywhere you want. Anywhere. Except for that pond, I can't get through that pond. Even anything I've taken there has not made it through that pond. But we will, we will overcome it. Challenge accepted, though. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> the Bruce is going to go through that. Thing. It will. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. The lockers actually arrived today, so. Nice. The F450 is just a recovery vehicle. Yeah, exactly. Now, like it doesn't doesn't get dirty anymore. Yeah. As he says, it doesn't get dirty anymore. <laughs> 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 oh, this thing has been buried in mud. All right, guys, we have made it back here to uh, send it Steve's place. He's invited us over uh, to do a little bit of filming. We're going to film some of the vehicles that he's got here, the projects he's working on. He is standing or sitting, squatting right behind me, uh, <laughs> pretending to look busy. And yes, even Diesel has uh, wanted to get on camera. Definitely. So, how are you, bud? I'm doing all right, man. Oh, what do you got going on here? Oh, we can't leave anything stock. <laughs> so, I've owned this for about a week and a half now, and it's already got six inch lift going on it and uh, some 35s. It's going to be another beast of a vehicle. It's going to be big. Yes. So if you guys didn't think the 450 was big, we're putting a six inch, yeah, it'll be six, six inch, inch lift and 35 on the uh, old urban suburban here. And then we've got this. This is the Bruce. You guys all know the Bruce. Uh, I'll take a little walk around it here and show you uh, what kind of uh, beast this is. It is a Honda Civic SI on a K5 chassis and he's got uh, LS modern running gear under the hood. It's hard to say what I'm most known for because I don't, it's a wide variety. I, a, lot, a lot of people know me for the Corvette, that's for sure. But I also get, you're the guy with that stupid Civic <laughs> and you're the guy with the big F450, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's kind of weird what I'm known for. but and Those of you who have been following my channel for a long time know that I've been following Send It Steve ever since he bought the Corvette back from Mike. And yeah. that's, that's been a while. It's been, well, December will be two years since I started the channel. Yeah. So, so it was that. I bought it back the day before I wrecked it and started the channel. Yeah. So, I mean, so. and you were very small then as far as subs go. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, he was selling cars as a used car dealer. And I reached out to him on Facebook and he replied back. 
and uh, we've been kind of keeping in touch ever yeah. since. I might have one for your fans. I might still have the letter you sent me. Oh yeah? I can almost guarantee it. Let, there we go, guys. <laughs> one thing I know that he does have is he still has the license plate that I sent him because uh, he show, in one some of his videos uh, he does he does have it hanging up on his wall, and I know in some of the videos he even has on his desk some letterhead. Uh, that I when I sent the letter to him as we continue to walk around here We've also got the uh, the Trans Am sitting over here. I mean, it's kind of more of a workbench here right now uh, But this is something he says it's uh, he's got a quite a sentimental attachment to it His parents bought that brand new and now it sits here just waiting uh, for him to do something with it Obviously the uh, the C5 is sitting here just kind of uh, Still in the background and just waiting for something someday. Who knows what will happen to this? This is kind of the car that uh, got Steve uh, and his channel started and uh, One of his very first stickers for the channel uh, was him with his hands in his face After he wrecked the car and of course, we've got the OBS with all of its uh, its uh, new wheel and tire setup on here and uh, This thing is going to be a monster as well in fact Steve said if I was sticking around long enough, there's a mud show or a mud truck bog, something or other going on this weekend. Offered to let me take it and uh, and run it through. And uh, unfortunately, because we're leaving tomorrow, we're not gonna be here for that. Almost wish I could have an extended vacation uh, to take advantage of that opportunity. So along with the uh, license plates that he's got hanging on his wall inside, this is the uh, package that I sent him that time yeah. uh, when he, he was working at uh, Key Motors there yeah, and really. had something to decorate your yeah. office with. He still has my uh, envelope that the letter came in as well as the decal yep. and uh, yeah, It was the letter in this uh, bumper sticker all that was in that that envelope I just don't know where the letter got to the letters <laughs> here somewhere. I'm gonna find it and send you a picture of it Yeah, it, like, I, trust it you. I trust yeah. you. So find it. now that we're now that we're <laughs> sitting next to this Jeep Yes, so what's the story on the Jeep? Well, you just go over to knivesdeal.com and you can use promo code send Steve all one word and uh, you can get yourself some great pieces Every dollar you spend on the website will get you an entry to win a brand new one, not this one. I've run this one through its paces, but you will win a brand new Jeep 125. Delivered to your house, no strings attached. There you go, guys. Go over to knivesdeal.com right now. Get your very own. Promo code send Steve, all one word. <laughs> so guys, as you know, on this little trip, we've been giving out gifts uh, to fellow YouTubers as we've been visiting with them. So I've given out license plates. Well, I've already given Steve yeah, a license plate. Given. I've given out stickers. Already got Steve's stickers. already got some stickers. I've also given out t-shirts. Already got a t-shirt. So the last thing to give out that we haven't given them yet is something directly from Canada that you can't get here oh, yeah. in Pennsylvania. Ketchup Lay's ketchup chips. Yes. So I, I know your kids will love that too. So make they sure will. you save some for yeah. them. They're and, actually sort of my favorite. Well, and these ones here, if you do like ketchup chips, those are like they're lays. They're like the cat's meow. They're yeah. the best you can get as far as I'm concerned. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. I appreciate so that. the other thing that we had that we were giving out was beer. And we oh. had some Canadian beer. Well, uh, I'm there for that. We only had two left. They're back at the hotel is the oh. unfortunate thing. We didn't bring them with us. Guess I'm sleeping over. I guess there you go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this little tour around Steve's uh, yard here. Junkyard. That's what the world calls it. There you go. Uh, straight, from, straight from the horse's mouth. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm not. I'm not ashamed of it. It's. We are going to go for a little drive. Uh, we're going to grab some dinner. Yes. Supper. I don't want you guys to call it down here. Whatever you'd like. Food. We're going to grab some food, and uh, I guess we're probably going to take the old 450, or maybe we'll take the uh, OBS. What do you guys think? So it's not too often, probably never again, are you going to see Grandma, the OBS, and the 450 in the same camera shot. So we're just gonna finish up with this photo shoot here. We're gonna go grab a bite to eat and uh, you know, see what we can do. That's not good. Steve, where are you going? It's an old girl. She's old. Old girls need a stretching, no? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh, traction control! <laughs>
So seeing how Steve has taken off in Grandma, well, we're gonna take off in the F450. Probably not gonna be able to power brake it though. But my soul, she is a tank. Let's see if I can get out of here without. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I say better you driving than me, cause I would run over curbs and <laughs> hit stop signs. <laughs> You have to say, the vantage point from up here. <laughs> How's the weather down there, Steve? <laughs> and for the record, that is Steve driving old grandma. And I'm driving the old 450. How would you say your first impressions of driving an F450? Well, it's a beast is what it is shy of driving a five-ton truck this is about the next uh, biggest thing and ladies and gentlemen of Steve's channel he just might not get the f-450 back I've got a credit card I can put the fuel on the credit card that's not the problem <laughs> we'll have to drain the water separator first so guys, we're going to close out this video and I want to remind you that old grandma here is being sponsored by Last Fit Auto with their LED lights, the LS series headlight bulbs. There's also reverse lights and license plate lights. You can get your very own at lastfit.com and if you're using promo code oldcarautoguy10, you can get 10% off your own order. Also this beard is brought to you by Sussex Beard Oil. You can visit them at sussexbeard.com and get all your beard product needs. And hopefully you'll enjoy their product enough to keep going back. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again real soon.